Uh, hello, this is Ogre from Skinny Puppy at the Maraluna Festival growling myself for Sonic Seducer magazine. Ah. Ah. Yes, enjoy. Yeah, we were booked originally on the main stage and uh, due to our show being a black light show or a, or a, a black house show, we, we don't carry lights with us. So everything that's lit on stage is done through projections. And we have crisscross projections that create kind of an abstract Dadaist visual look to it. And uh, as well, uh, most everything on stage is draped in white, uh, including me. My costume isn't the normal Grufti black. It's, uh, it's, it's white bell bottoms, like Brady Bunch almost, like the 70s, and uh, a huge conical hat or a conical hat that uh, um, represents to some degree uh, the idea of uh, the atrophied version of racism that kind of exists in America. And uh, all of this stuff can be projected upon. And the idea was to create in um, a fine art sense the idea of a gallery setting, which is just a white box and everything's projected on that white box. So you need it to be dark. And uh, we've used that in, in, in essence to kind of portray the idea of all the evils in the world have always been kind of projected upon us. Uh, in America, especially here, we're, we're very accepted, obviously. But uh, in America, we've always been kind of the kicking bag for a lot of the ills and the evils in America. And so I thought it was nice to, to actually have those things projected upon us, and then we reflect that back uh, from, from, from what's what's projected on us. So we need a completely dark environment to do it, and that's why we're playing on the uh, second in the, in the hangar the, the hangar stage. Well, Mr. Brownstone is someone that's turned against technology completely, and he wanders the streets of Los Angeles uh, in somewhat of a disguise and also somewhat of a, a, a true sort of inner outer expression of who he is. And he goes in disguise basically as a street person and collects objects uh, in order to, to make uh, these boxes that he uses to encode things with. And then he goes back to his place. He's very anal and very clean. And so he takes off the disguise and uh, he uses a, an Oliver typewriter, which is a pre-depression American typewriter. Uh, very pretty. It was used in Cronenberg's uh, Naked Lunch, so it's a very beautiful, almost feminine-looking uh, typewriter. He uses that to communicate, and he only uh, types on paper and then uploads uh, to the internet. And so we've done a thing where he <laughs> he is uh, uh, basically uh, giving the lyrics out first and having uh, the audience solve puzzles, and then we're giving away these boxes, these very orn ornate boxes, for free to whoever solves the puzzles as we roll out the album. And uh, he exists in, in my mind and in the mind of Ogre, I guess, as, as well, and, uh, and, uh, and will be incorporated into the stage show. Uh, I, I have an idea, we've been talking about it with Justin, our, our drummer for Skinny Puppy, who's also with, uh, with Ogre, and Tim Hill, who does our visuals, and we're working on more of a theatrical um, version of, of what's, I mean, Skinny Puppy's theatrical, but, but a more vaudeville sort of, we, we did a tour uh, last year for Ogre in America. That kind of bordered on it bordered on burlesque vaudeville almost. It was a, a whole different feel, kind of. And uh, we want to take that a, a step further by creating environments and switching visually between the environments. Starting off with a, a white stage again, but just creating environments and uh, and making it more like a story, you know, that has a, a very linear sort of timeline. And Mr. Brownstone will be part of that. Okay. <laughs> Tim Sullivan's sequel to 2000 Maniacs. It's called 2001 Maniacs, Field of Screams. A very lowbrow um, uh, attempt uh, at dealing with uh, every type of uh, ism there is out there as far as uh, negative racial stereotypes, uh, homophobia, everything. It's based on the idea of a Southern, a Herschel B. Gordon Lewis movie that uh, a Southern, uh, town of Southerners are, are destroyed in the Civil War and come back every year as ghosts to wreak vengeance on the Northerners. And uh, I play Harper Alexander and that kind of a ladies man who is a cannibal. So. 